Hi, I'm Simon. Have you ever considered just how big a tree can grow? Why don't all trees grow as massive as this giant sequoia? And what stops them shooting up into the clouds and out of sight? On the one hand, trees grow as tall as possible to outgrow their neighbours and bathe in the sunlight. On the other hand, gravity plays a huge part in keeping trees short. The higher they grow, the harder it is to get water to the very top. The problem is, water moves passively in plants. It evaporates out of the leaves, and in doing so, is drawn up from the roots. But life is tough at the top, thanks to the constant tug of gravity and the friction between water and the xylem vessels that transport it. Less fluid can reach the highest canopy. Despite the nutrient-rich soil and the plentiful water supply down here, up there, the trees are effectively dealing with drought conditions. This means the leaves or needles get smaller and smaller towards the top. They're less able to take on carbon dioxide and less efficient at photosynthesizing. The result is very little or even zero growth. By calculating the interplay between these opposing forces, a team of scientists from Northern Arizona University calculated that the maximum height for a tree is between 122 and 130 metres high. That's the same as a 35-storey skyscraper. As it happens, the tallest tree in the world, a tree named Hyperion in Redwood National Park, stands at a whopping 115 metres high, close to the theoretical maximum height. So how big are the foundations of a structure like this? Well, the world's biggest towers, the Petronas Towers in Malaysia, has foundations stretching 120 metres deep. But the roots of a giant sequoia like this probably don't penetrate more than two to three metres beneath the ground. Instead, to maintain stability, they branch outwards. The roots of the biggest trees can extend more than 50 metres beyond the base. The biggest tree on Earth, the tree with the greatest volume, is a giant sequoia named General Sherman. It stands at 84 metres tall, has a circumference of over 31 metres, and has an estimated volume of more than 1,400 cubic metres. Over the last 40 years, General Sherman has grown in diameter by just 8 centimetres. That's enough new wood each year to create a five-bedroom house. But General Sherman is almost too big to comprehend. Its first branch is 39 metres up, and its biggest branch is over 2 metres in diameter. In fact, this giant could be turned into 191 million sheets of average grade A4 paper. And if you line those sheets out end on end, it would stretch around the world 1.4 times. And if you stack them up, that paper pile would reach 21 kilometers high. To discover exactly how a tree can suck up enough water to grow so tall, watch this brilliant clip from Veritasium. And to find out just how big a human could grow, check out this film from Vsauce. If you want to know more wildlife facts, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon on Earth Unplugged.